Hi, today we're going to make the Goblin's Mirror from Chapter 1 of The Snow Queen. Here's what you need. The PDF that you downloaded, craft knife or scissors, white glue, and a small piece of aluminum foil. Here you can see on page 1 the box bottom, box top, inside lid, and the cross piece that holds the mirror in the box. On page 2, the front of the mirror, and the back of the mirror, and then the small rectangle that is the template for the foil. Let's start with page 2. We're going to cut out the front and the back of the mirror. I chose to use a craft knife, but a scissors will work just as well. We're going to cut out the front and the back and try to stay as close to the lines as you can. Then for the rectangle that is going to be the template for cutting out the foil, I cut it with the craft knife first, but I find that it's easier to cut it with the scissors, holding it together with the foil and just cutting on the lines, you get a nice neat rectangle. Next, we're going to cut out the middle of the front of the mirror where the foil's going to go. This is much easier with a craft knife. Uh, it's just a lot neater and you don't have to fold the paper to get the rectangle out. Now, the front and the back are ready to go. They're gonna to go together like this, but we need to put the foil in the middle. So we're going to take the glue and put it on the inside of the back. Put the foil on top with the shiny side up. And then put some glue on the back side of the front around the frame and down the handle. And we're going to put it together uh, like a sandwich, just like that. And let it dry. Now let's go back to page two and cut out all the pieces of the box. There's the box bottom. and the box top. I find that it's just as easy to cut this out with scissors. Just be careful when you're cutting not to cut off the little tabs because you need those to act as the hinges for the box. And here is the inside lid. And here is the cross piece that is going to hold the mirror inside the box. Now we're going to attach the lid to the box. Put some glue on the back side of each little tab line it up in the front in the right place, and then just fold the tabs down. And then we can take the inside of the lid and glue that to the inside of the box.
for the cross piece, we want to put glue just on the ends. Line it up between the little marks on the box bottom. And let it dry. I noticed that the two sides of my mirror didn't line up exactly. So I took my scissors and just trimmed the edges, cutting off the white space. And there you go. It fits right in. And we're ready to move on. For the white spaces on the box, I used an alcohol marker, but you can use a regular felt tip if that's what you have. Try to match the color and went around the inside covering up the white areas. This is page nine from the story of the Snow Queen. My page is separate, but your page would be part of your book. This white rectangle where the mirror and the two symbols are is right where the mirror box fits. We're going to put some glue on the back, not too much. And carefully place it right over the rectangle and let it dry. Now the box is part of the story. Now you can take it out and play with it whenever you like. I hope you enjoyed putting this mirror together. Come back soon and we'll make another project. Thanks for watching.